Well, Passover commemorates the exodus of Jews from Egypt into Israel. And amidst this recent surge of anti-Semitism, one woman from Squirrel Hill tells me that she and her family have had conversations about leaving the U.S. for Israel. If Jews here are wanting to move there, then that means that there's a problem here. Um, and because of our history, a lot of Jews are asking the question of, what's our line in the sand? You know, when do we need to leave versus when do we want to leave? Hannah Ertel has two children in Israel, including one who's in the defense forces. The phrase often uttered toward the end of the Seder, next year in Jerusalem, has taken on greater significance in her family. But their concerns about the cultural and political climate have not stopped them from celebrating their faith openly and with pride. While the Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh encourages Jews to remain vigilant, they emphasize that they're not aware of any active violent threats in the area and that people should carry on with their Passover plans as normal. That's exactly what the Chabad of Greenfield will do, hosting 50 people for their Seder tonight. As difficult as it is, this is nothing new. This has been going on for generations. There's always been someone, and people have predicted the extermination of the Jews already long ago. And we're still here. God is protecting us. God is with us. As for the incident on the north side, the FBI would not confirm for us whether they're investigating the incident, but the Bureau did say that they're aware of it. Reporting live from Squirrel Hill tonight, Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.